guys welcome back to my channel it's Peyton and today I'm back with another video um, before I start I just want to say that I don't have my ring light on right now so I hope nobody minds but the natural lighting seems like okay um, but for some reason like my ring light plus this wig and this camera just doesn't work for this wig so I'm just like let me not make myself look like a fool because I did record this like review already but then I went to go edit the footage and it just looked a hot mess like the, the it was really just like the lace but it doesn't look like that in real life my friends told me I recorded a video on my camera and I made sure like I was not here looking a hot mess it's really just like lighting and stuff so I hope nobody minds and I hope this is cool so I'm first gonna start off this video with the installation process of this unit that I'm wearing on my head um, I did record this a couple days ago so I was using my ring light but as I already said I'm not using my ring light um, so I hope you all enjoy uh, that part and after you guys watch the installation process of this unit um, I will have my review at the end of this video of how I like this hair and how it's been thus far because it's been a couple days since I've been wearing it now So I hope you all enjoy this video and uh, let's get started So I'm just starting off by applying foundation onto the lace I used an elf foundation brush with my foundation that I use on my face and I just applied that all over the lace um, I did this because I didn't bleach the knots or tint it and I just needed it to look more natural when I put it on my head and then this was also my first time doing this little uh, stocking cap method where you like apply it to your head so I probably did it wrong you know but it was my first time but I just like did the little process and then put the same color foundation for my makeup on my head and um, here I am cutting it. This is honestly like the hardest part and you really have to take the time. Like, this usually takes me like five to ten minutes for each side. And cutting around the ear honestly has to be like the worst part. But I just make sure I pay attention to just getting it to shape, to, to be like the right shape around my ear. And um, I only showed one side, but I did the same side, the same thing to the other side. And now you see I'm just using my Got To Be products. These will be in the description box below. And I'm just applying those. I do the um, the black gel first and then I do the spray on top of it and I usually have to go back in like once or twice just because the glue is just complicated and I'm a pro with this stuff but it works for me so I do it the way that I do it. Um, but yeah, you can see here I'm just going back in. And each time that I do go back, I am using my blow dryer. I don't always use my blow dryer, but when I do, I just use a cool air setting for like 10 seconds. But after that, the wig is like, you know, as you guys can see, on. And I just prepped it and just ended up flat ironing it. Um, the flat iron and the blow dryer that I use will be in the description box below if you guys are interested in getting it. Y'all, please don't mind my underarms. Oh my God. I'm looking real crusty and dusty right now, but... I still had to come out and make this video for y'all. And I wasn't really worried about looking cute, you know? I was worried about getting my wig cute though. And now I'm just using some ghost bond on the sides by my ears just because that's where um, the lace usually lifts the most. And ghost bond is real, 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 real sticky. And yeah, I'm just taking some gel and just pushing my hair back. I didn't really want to do the baby hair look with this hair because I feel like baby hair looks weird with light colored hair. But um, yeah, but I'm just going in and just razoring the sides, making it look a little bit more natural, um, and just slicking down the hair. And now I'm using my plug-in um, pressing comb, which is how I get all my units flat now, all my straight hair units flat. And I use this instead of a wand, and I really just ran that through the top of my head. So that's the most flat and seamless up there. And then I'm just using this wax slick stick, and I just put that all over my flyaways and it really gets the job done so this is how i get my hair flat and no flyaways and this is the end result like it sally i had to re-record this video but i did need to come back and tell y'all how much i really do love this hair so um let's get started i'm going to be reading the specs for my phone and i'm going to start off with the unboxing and the specs and then i'm going to talk about the pros and cons and then just end the video off this is app sister wigs pre-plucked mint bob lace unit and this is a full lace wig so it's 13 by 14 ear to ear and it is pre-made so it came you know constructed and everything 
um i got this unit uh like a week or so ago um it came really really fast i'm going to have a video of the unboxing right here um as soon as it came i took it out the packaging i looked at it and i was like wow this this thing looks amazing and then like before i even did anything to it i did like try it on my bald head you know like with my uh, wig cap on and it was basically like i really didn't even have to do anything to it um but you know i still did so i still customized it and i still like uh played with the lace a little bit but honestly truly this wig seems very low maintenance so if you are a beginner or you don't really know um much about customizing and plucking and stuff this unit or a unit like this might be really good for you this hair is color it's a mint color the unit did come this way um this company app sister wig they have many other color units and they also have regular color hair if you guys are wondering they have uh, natural 1b hair and they have uh, many other hair textures um lengths and all of that so they don't just only have colored units but if you are looking for like pre-plucked units this is the place for you to go and if you're looking for colored units like this and other colors because they literally have so many colors um this is also the place for you to go but i do really really love it like this color is so popping this length is popping and all that let me read y'all the specs so um the wig skew number is af0072 the hair length is 10 inches the hair density is 150 percent density and the cap size is small um the cap construction is a lace front wig and i already said that i kind of felt like this wig was a 360 lace wig because there was lace in the back at the bottom but i'm not really sure even if it is a 360 lace wig i don't use 360 lace wigs to their full capabilities just because it takes a lot of work and i just rather you know have a little simple hairstyle that's with my hair down and not you know in a ponytail or anything like that if you are interested in purchasing this unit i do have a coupon code it's pb10 and this will give you 10 percent off of your total at the checkout this information and that promo code will all be in the description box below and also the direct link to this wig and the direct link to this hair store now i'm just going to tell you guys how i liked it i love it <laughs> i really do love this hair so much i've been wearing it for about a week now um I've gotten so many compliments on the color, so many compliments on the length, so many compliments on wherever I got it. Everybody's just like, oh my god, where'd you get it, where'd you get it, where'd you get it? And I'm just like, ask sister, ask sister, ask sister. And yeah, like this wig is really, really great. And this is not me like sponsoring them or anything. Like this wig is shut popping, honestly, truly, like I do love it. It might look different on this camera, honestly, truly, but in real life and on my phone the picture's been coming out bomb so y'all can add me follow me on instagram if y'all want to see more pictures and videos because i've been posting a lot in this unit i am pretty sure i'm going to post more in the future too so the pros automatically it's the color i love this hair color it's so pretty to me it just makes me look like more foreign especially when i have on makeup i feel like i look a lot more asian um i don't know it's just like this light hair color it's just so 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 pretty to me um and then i also like the fact that it was pre-plucked so if you are a beginner to wigs and units or frontals or anything like that and you don't really know how to like customize and do stuff like that then getting a colored unit like this and that's already pre-plucked might be you know easy way for you to start with wigs um especially if you don't even want to do a color you just want a pre-plucked um natural brown or natural whatever color unit access to wig might be the store that you want to go to and look for a new unit so um on the website it says virgin human hair it doesn't really say what kind like you know brazilian peruvian so i'm not really sure but if they i will ask them to send me that information um but yeah i remember i didn't even choose that i really just looked at the color and just chose it but yeah it says virgin human hair um so i guess that could be anything but i will put the correct type of hair that it is in the description box below if they send it to me it did come with two adjustable straps in the back so it really helps this wig sit fit on my head nice and snug so i can like rock out in this wig and it ain't going nowhere especially because i used um i used a mix of got to be in a mix of ghost bond glue so yeah i i did a lot and this wig has really been on my head for uh like five days so yeah y'all I don't really have anything to say about the cons this hair hasn't been shedding it hasn't been tangling because i mean it's short 
and the thing is like even if this hair does shed in the future it's 150 percent density a shed there's so much hair on this wig and it's 10 inches which means it's really really thick and i can vow to say it's very thick like it's a lot of hair on this so if it does shed it doesn't really matter because there is so much hair on this head that it's not even gonna get thin you know it'll get thinner but it's not gonna get like super thin to where it's like girl throw that in the trash i don't really have any cons like i love the way this hair is styled i love this hair color i love that it's pre-plugged I did customize it so that the perimeter could look a little bit more natural um, regardless the, of the fact that it was pre-plucked um, just because I, I would always recommend you know like tweaking edit a little bit the only thing that I could say which is not really a con of the wig it's more so like a con for my capabilities is that I haven't really figured out a way to um, maintain this unit while I go to sleep um, just because it's so short and it's a bob, like when I wrap, like it's hard, like I can't really wrap it and I also can't just like wear it out and go to sleep because then it'll look crazy. So I think I really need to figure out a way to get this bob like to to have like a nice way of um, protecting this bob when I go to sleep at night so that when I wake up in the morning I don't have to do a lot. Not saying that I do have to do a lot to this wig because when I do like wrap it or go to sleep with it on because I do sleep in my lace front wigs. For a couple of days or however long I choose to wear them when I wake up in the morning I use this really good flat iron it only takes me like 10 minutes to do this hair it's really not like I'm complaining I just wish that I had like another way to maintain this when I go to sleep at night so that's really all I had to say if y'all did like this video please don't forget to give it a big giant thumbs up make sure you comment something down positive below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys next time and thank you again to ask sister wig bye